How do narcissists respond to grief? Do they feel grief? Let's talk about that. I'm Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you understand everything related to narcissism and toxic relationships. And let's get started with grief. Okay, so unless we're talking about, so let's remember that narcissism is on a spectrum and that it can range from your egotistical, let's just call it garden variety narcissist, all the way up through sociopathy and psychopathy. We're gonna talk about narcissists not way up on the spectrum right now because I think when you start talking about sociopathy and psychopathy, you're talking about people who truly have not only no concern and no empathy for others, but are very calculating and are very, have a very different experience of their emotional world. So we're gonna talk about people with NPD or people we assume have NPD and that's it. Nothing on the far end of the spectrum. So yes, of course, narcissists will feel grief. They will feel something when they have a loss in life, when they have something that grief would be present for, right? But here's the thing. It's not that they don't feel it. It's why they're feeling it. It is how they're feeling it and what they're experiencing with it. So they're not going to have the normal reactions of grief. They're not going, they may go through the same stages of grief that everyone else does, but the reactions to those stages are going to look different. And why is that? Everything is filtered through the same thing it's always filtered through, which is a lack of empathy for others and selfish motivation, egotistical motivation. So if they have grief and loss, they may get angry and deflect everything out to everyone else even so much as smearing the person that was lost or the thing that was lost or so much as to deny that there was ever anything going on in the first place worth the grieving over. So in other words, they're always protecting their ego, even in grief. Now, after a breakup or a discard, a narcissist may not have the same grief experience that you have because what they're doing is pretending that the relationship meant nothing and moving on to the next thing so that they can seek supply and get their life back in the direction they want it, which is for other people to worship and give them the attention and affection and, and appreciation and all of that. In other words, they're there to, to in the new relationship already, if they haven't already started one, to seek supply. So they are not gonna look the same when they're in grief. When a narcissist goes through a breakup or a discard, if it's they're the one doing it or if they are left by you, most likely what they feel if they do not already have new supply is not so much the grief, but they feel the narcissistic injury that happens from you not accepting their hoover when they try to hoover you back or for you not groveling and begging for them to come back or the power that they get to say no to you if you are groveling and begging for them to come back. Okay, so it's a whole dynamic that's different within the relationship now when they have a loss such as a death or somebody um losing a job or or anything like that they're still going to be hit with a narcissistic injury over it most of the time they're either playing a victim over the thing that happened or or the loss that happened and finding ways to make themselves even more of a victim or they're in denial of it and they're deflecting it and, and getting angry and lashing out and smearing and causing all kinds of other havoc all around them. So they may even exaggerate the situation um, when they have a loss as if they're the only one who's ever experienced that thing so that they can get more and more supply. They may even reach out to people that they don't know or haven't seen in a long time or that is um, like a distant person to just keep getting supply coming toward them. They don't handle it in the same way. It isn't the deep sadness and, and quiet and, and need for recovery. It's in pulling from other people to fill whatever it is they're trying to fill so they don't have to feel the grief and loss. I think that grief is a time of, of self-reflection for a lot of people. It's a time of looking at the big picture of what has happened whatever the grief or loss is about you're seeing you're seeing a larger scope of what happened not just the, in the day-to-day -day stuff but how things played out and often people feel regret or feel 
sorrow or feel they feel all sorts of things through grief well a narcissist doesn't want to take accountability they don't want to have to be accountable for the things that they're feeling guilty over or they're feeling like they could have done better or they or things that they lost that they know is their own fault and they don't want that they don't want to accept responsibility for that they refuse to and they start projecting that onto other people or onto the person that they lost or onto anyone around them that'll listen and that will that will be supply for that sometimes narcissists grieve in a way like if they are left by a spouse or a partner or if they're a parent and their children do not their grown adult children do not want to talk to them any longer sometimes they grieve in the way someone might grieve if they lost an object if they had their car stolen or something like that where they're angry that that thing was taken away from them that thing being another human being and that's not necessarily grief in the way we understand it right that is more feeling a loss of something that you believe you own let me know in the comments if you have witnessed this or if you have seen a narcissist grieving anything in their life and what did you see and we'll talk about it more later so if you need anything coaching group coaching or anything like that check out the info in every video's description hit the thumbs up hit subscribe and i will talk to you guys next time take care bye bye